Well, what Turkey has tried to achieve uh, since the beginning of the war in Ukraine is to have a balanced policy, uh, which perhaps can be summarized as saying uh, that Turkey would be pro-Ukraine without being anti-Russia. And the fundamental reason for that is that Turkey uh, believed that it did not have the luxury uh, to totally alienate Russia because uh, unlike other NATO countries, uh, which have different uh, areas of vulnerability, particularly energy and to some extent the economy, on top of that, uh, Turkey has a dependence on Russia in the area of uh, national security because of Syria where Turkey needs Russia's diplomatic partnership in order to avert uh, a scenario of, the, or yet another scenario of humanitarian disasters, which could potentially lead uh, to, a, uh, to new refugee flows. Uh, Turkey has also worked with Russia in other uh, crisis uh, regions in the neighborhood, in particularly Nagorno-Karabakh. So that is the, the type of uh, diplomatic engagement that Turkey wanted to protect, to maintain no matter what. And uh, as a result, Turkey uh, crafted a delicate uh, engagement policy with Russia, where on the one hand, uh, Turkey continued to be supportive of uh, Ukraine's war efforts by uh, supplying armed drones. It has been politically critical of Russia's behavior. Uh, it has not recognized previously the, the annexation of Crimea uh, and the passage of Russian warships. But at the same time, uh, it's the only NATO country not to have implemented sanctions against Russia. The air corridor remains open. Uh, Erdogan is the only Western leader to have met Putin twice in a month. Uh, and there are new uh, economic agreements that are being negotiated. The Turkish uh, president uh, will uh, get to meet with the Ukrainian uh, President Zelensky. Uh, and uh, this is yet another demonstration uh, that uh, Turkey uh, is intent on carrying a balanced approach to both Ukraine and Russia. It demonstrates to the international community that uh, Turkey uh, can have this uh, engagement at the very highest political level, both with uh, Putin and with Zelensky at the same time. Antonio Guterres. The continuation uh, of the grain deal is important. Uh, that is uh, going to be discussed. Uh, possibly uh, the um, some, there will also be discussion about uh, a possible uh, Turkish uh, joint venture uh, of the Bayraktar company in Ukraine. Uh, so, uh, but overall, in terms of the, uh, the, 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 the war situation, uh, I don't think that we should have any uh, real expectations. There's no reason to think uh, that uh, Kiev and Moscow would actually be interested in a uh, diplomatic uh, opening. Uh, but uh, if and when we reach that stage, uh, Turkey will be one of the countries uh, that could re-espouse uh, this type of role because uh, you know, somebody needs to do it. And the fact that uh, Turkey as a NATO country, but still has uh, links to uh, the political leadership in Russia, has the confidence uh, of both uh, Ukraine and Russia, can play this role uh, going forward. It's just that we, at this point, uh, there's probably not much uh, demand uh, for this role.